Hey everybody, welcome. Um, tonight we're going to talk about COVID and cannabis. Um, and we have Dr. Axelbert here with us. Um, how do cannabinoids work? Somewhat generally, but really with an eye toward what we're talking about here. Um, what is COVID-19? Um, you know, there's a lot of craziness in the world these days, and we have a lot of facts that help us understand what COVID is. There's no reason to think about conspiracies when we have um, stuff that we can touch right in front of us. Um, and how, how do cannabinoids work against COVID? Um, first, cannabinoids and COVID-19. So this is a whispering that this is the real stuff. It does work. We're going to dive deep in this lecture about how cannabinoids work at a cellular level. What you can see here is a graph showing CBD, cannabidiol, um, working on, on the one hand, cellular sort of communication in the immune system, um, cells that gobble up other cells, cells that communicate to other cells, um, and then chemistry that kind of floats through the body to cause an alarm so that your body can mount the resources it needs to beat this virus that doesn't belong. One of the ways that it does it directly um, is the middle graph here. You can see the ACE2 receptor. Um, most people these days have heard about that, um, and we're going to talk a little bit specifically about how ACE2 is involved. And then on the right, um, PPAR gamma um, is a receptor at a nuclear level, right at the DNA, sort of inside the cell level. Um, and that has a lot of implications for how CBD works um, toward many of these things. Um, stopping the virus from replicating, we'll talk about, um, as well as some things about our normal cell functions that. Um, are important in fighting this situation. To zoom in, this is a dizzying perspective, but under a microscope, um, you can see some pretty interesting stuff. So on the, on the left, um, one of the things that we see when people have severe COVID infections is lots of lung injuries. Um, and maybe Dr. Exelbert, you can talk a little bit about um, sort of what you see clinically when someone comes into the ICU um, and has a, a sort of bad case of, of um, COVID. Sure. So if you if you all think about sort of how people are coming to the hospital or why, you know, one of the first things they're getting is shortness of breath. And um, some of that is just because they're fatigued and they're tired. But uh, that slide before that Dr. Kaplan was saying that whole sort of change that's happening within the cells are happening into every single cell that basically lines the air sacs of our lungs, which are called the alveoli. And when you see a cytokine storm or you see a, a description of all this inflammation, it's basically leaking fluid. You know, that's probably the easiest way to think about it. Um, and that fluid sits inside these tiny air sacs. And it's these air sacs where you're supposed to have exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Right. So if one of the great take home things about this slide is, um, you know, if, if you look at the upper left where it mentions plant cannabinoids, you know, it is through the plant cannabinoids or cannabis that, you know, we learned about this endocannabinoid system. And so I, what's important, I think, for the, for the folks listening is the endocannabinoid system has been around for years and years. It's just now we're able to talk about it. And uh, as this it were. I mentioned before that cannabis as a plant and as a medicine is not just CBD or THC. There are also these things um, alongside it um, called terpenes. Um, and interestingly, terpenes, um, in this case, there's one called um, glycerizin. Um, um, what is COVID-19? This is going to be a deep dive. So uh, if you're ready to fall asleep, this is the way to do it. But I do want to talk about it so that everybody can hear kind of what's going on. Um, you know, we often talk about the illness outside and kind of what it looks like in the air, but we don't think about kind of how it's acting and, and what it's good for um, at a cellular level. So what is COVID-19? COVID-19, when we look as scientists in the hospital, in, in sort of the blood, this is what we're seeing. 